This video will give you an overview of the parts of your Ring floodlight cam and some basic wiring techniques. Before installing your floodlight cam, we suggest watching these videos so you're familiar with the installation process. We've included a printed manual for reference as well. This is Ring floodlight cam. This is the camera. Here's the speaker. This is the motion sensor for the floodlights. These knobs are for adjusting the angle of the lights. Loosen the knobs to point the lights straight up to get them out of the way during installation. You can also loosen and secure the lock collar at the base of the lights after rotating them in your desired direction. This is how floodlight cam comes out of the box. You'll notice floodlight cam ships with the camera rotated upside down for protection. This is the camera lock collar. Loosen it so you can rotate the camera 180 degrees so that it's right side up. Then tighten the camera lock collar to hold the camera in place. On the back of your floodlight cam are three wires. This black wire is the hot wire and will connect to the black wire in your junction box. The white wire is neutral and will connect to your neutral or white wires. This copper wire is a ground. If your junction box doesn't have clearly colored black and white wires, consult with a licensed electrician. This is Floodlight Cam's mounting bracket, which will attach to your junction box using these mounting screws. You'll only need two screws to securely mount your bracket, but we're including four just in case you want to use more. These wire nuts serve for connecting the wires from Floodlight Cam to the existing wires in your junction box. Using wire nuts to connect wires is simple. Just line up the ends of the wires you want to connect together, place them inside the wire nut, and twist clockwise until the wires are tightly secured. If you need to disconnect wires in a wire nut, simply twist counterclockwise, pull off the wire nut, and untwist the wires. This hook is for hanging your floodlight cam from the mounting bracket while you're connecting the wires. These small cap nuts will secure your floodlight cam to the bracket. You'll need to install your floodlight cam and wire it to power before you can complete the in-app setup. 